Lesson 12. Project energy into everything that you do. You'll notice that a very common thing in group discussions is people will pose objections. Of course, they ought to. You ought to weigh a thing well. But what you'll find is that people reach the point where they think, well, we don't know the answer. Let's just sort of shelve it. In fact, too many objections can paralyze activity. And at that point, you'll find that almost anything done is better than no action. Because action unblocks the energy, and as that energy is unblocked, as the energy begins to flow, then that energy generates the magnetism that draws the right answers and helps you to know how to do it well. So even doing a thing imperfectly is often at least preferable to not doing it. Uh, there are lots of uh, examples in life where this is not true, and I admit it. On the other hand, there are a lot of examples where people think it won't be true, and it is. Because you don't have to commit yourself to a final product, but if you do something rather than nothing, even if it's just getting out there and sweeping the floor, if you do some minor job in order to prepare yourself for the big job instead of thinking, oh, I can't do it, you'll find that in the action itself, you begin to generate that kind of magnetism that then comes the clarity, and then you begin to see, ah, this is how I can do it. Whereas if you sit back and wait for the answers to come, probably they won't come. Answers don't come in inactivity. I've found that again and again. People who sit waiting for the bolt of lightning to come out of the sky and give them the great inspiration of genius end up never doing anything. And those people who will work to accomplish little things find that they can accomplish more and more. Now, what we need to do in all of these cases is not hold our energy in, not, uh, not only project our thoughts into a thing, but project your energy. You know, the more sensitive you become to these things of which I've been speaking, the more you will become aware of the energy as actual force. I found this so when I lecture, for example, that my energy field, I can, I, it's as if I could really, I really do feel it. It fills the hall. And if the hall is larger, I can project it further. If I have a job that I want to do, I find that if I put my, if I project energy into the job, instead of just thinking, well, I've got to move my body to make it happen, or move my thoughts to make it happen, I put energy into it, and then I find that I'm able to generate the kind of magnetism that makes it possible. Project energy into your work. I talked about enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is not merely having energy for the work at hand, but putting energy into it. Energy is also uh, of different qualities, but you can tell when a work has been done with energy and when it's been done with lackluster energy. Most works, whether they be artistic or musical or scientific or uh, business-like uh, or any other kind of energy, most works don't, don't show much energy. People, are, people tend to be pretty mediocre in what they do. Why? Because they don't project energy. Why? Also because they don't have any of these other qualities that we've been talking about. But remember, to recapitulate what I said at the start, these things can be developed. They can be developed by everyone, and they can be developed by you. Even if you feel that you don't have any energy, even if you feel that enthusiasm is impossible, even if you feel you don't have willpower, you can never concentrate, you're never calm, all of these things are temporary. This is what you're manifesting right now, and it took you a certain amount of effort to reach that point of non-manifestation. Just change the, kind of en change the kind of energy you're putting out, the kind of effort you're putting out, and you'll find you can. You can change yourself to become as great as the greatest person who ever lived. Because what he did in his greatness was just act on your behalf, specialized in, uh, on your behalf in being what he is. But we're all human beings, and all of us have the same basic potential. So with your willpower, project that willpower to what you're trying to accomplish. Send it out into the world. Send it to the people. When you, when you talk to people, talk with your, with your whole being. Don't just sort of present them with a plan. Put your heart into that plan. Don't be just sort of 
enthusiastic for yourself, but include them in the, your enthusiasm. Send out energy through your eyes, through your mind, and you will see that in that, in that sharing, that you will be able to draw people, circumstances, conditions, ideas, inspirations into your orbit and accomplish anything that you ever want to do.